Just me hanging out with my Lambo. How are you guys doing? Uh, Pretty good. Yeah. You guys just had an amazing set like a few minutes ago. Can you explain the experience? Uh, <laughs> it's, always, it's always nice because we're kind of at the, at the stage now where we don't always get to play in front of crowds that are interacting with us. So it's always nice when we come places with other bands and people bring in people, bands bring in people and uh, you know the crowd is fun with us and they sing along to the you know the songs that they know and, and uh, you know that, that kind of keeps us going. The Cleveland area scene definitely knows how to do that. That's for sure. Can I have you guys say your name and say what you play? Or are you um, I'm Corbin. I play guitar. I'm Cliff, I play bass. Cliff's not your name. <laughs> Fiscal stand your ground, Cliff. That's why I'm Because I'm political. <laughs> I'm David. I play guitar and I do some backups. I'm Ben. I do vocals. I'm Matt. I do drums. Cool. Cool. You guys have a new album out. You want to talk about it? Yes. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, we just released our debut uh, album back in the December, there it is, called Wait of the World. Um, it's got eight songs on it, and uh, he's finally got a copy. First time we've got, been able to get down here and uh, play since we've gotten it out, but uh, it's kind of a collection of, of songs that are kind of, you know, trying to, to help people that, that struggle get through different situations in life, and it's just kind of, you know, our take on, on you know, what we want to do in life and, and how we respond to people who don't want, you know, have different opinions about what we want to do. And, and um, you know, just kind of a you know, stand your ground, don't give up, you know, follow your dreams kind of thing. It's just kind of the whole the whole idea of the album. And uh, you know, music the is the made to help. Yes, exactly. And that's what we want to do. And in the way you know, the people that feel the weight of the world on their shoulders, it's just a, you know the, something that they can hopefully connect to and, and hold them through their rough times. If you guys want to mention how many stripper poles you can make. <laughs> 69. 69. <laughs> there it is. That's what the odd number. <laughs> Good number, but not. Is this all in it's one room number. or throughout the house? Throughout the, throughout house. the house, yeah. You gotta have some in the bathroom. <laughs> in the kitchen, on the couch. In the kitchen, ass and big. Yeah. You gotta yeah, put, you gotta you put go. 20 on the roof and just. <laughs> call, call. Maybe, maybe if you have a swimming pool in the backyard, something like that. One <laughs> well, coming out of the water. Slide <laughs> down. <laughs> We don't do water slides. How have you guys developed your sound? Well, by combining lots of genres. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Because we, we have a lot of different influences. And um, it's, yeah, so it's just a lot of different styles going together. And even we've worked on a little bit of new stuff that's not on that CD that we haven't played live yet that's even a little bit different than what's on that CD. So, like, you know, we have our lighter sides, we have our, our heavier sides, and we kind of... Yeah, uh, Cole, Cole brings more of the heavy side to it. <laughs> I like to bring more of the positive side to it. I'm just, I'm working on, I'm, I'm originally more of a, a lighter singer, I'm kind of like a straight pop rock singer, but as, the, as we've gotten going, I've been working on, you know, getting the heavier side. We like hitting all, all sides. We try to hit all sides, you know, we try to... <laughs> <laughs> we try to give everybody something that they can appeal to. Yeah, and <laughs> what was your guys Oh, I love but Betty White. You guys don't know what happened. Uh, Betty, Betty, Betty White's an amazing person. Must have been a hell of a night. <laughs> I would ask her to slice my bread. She's one of the few people that ever had to. <laughs> She's older than sliced bread. That's no joke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, and it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Michael. Awesome, Gary. He interview bombed us earlier too. Oh, did he? Yeah, he yeah. hugged oh, everyone. I think I interviewed Bob he somebody hugged somebody earlier. Everyone I just kind of walked through. We were interviewing going on, and it, it, whoops, it was weird. What are you guys currently working on? Now that you have an album out, are you working on another EP uh, or another album? Just a. Uh, just write more stuff. Yeah, we're kind of in the. We're gonna new sound too. Yeah, we're like we were mentioning a little bit earlier, we're kind of working on extending our sound a little more, and just kind of you know at the beginning stages of you know, writing some new songs. And we're right now we're mainly you know playing shows to support the album and you know try to try to grow our fan base. Got the Warp Tour. That's right. Yeah, we've got we're in uh, Battle of the Bands for Vans Warp Tour. Go to uh, <laughs> warp warp battle the bands dot com backslash u backslash unlabeled. I can go there. Vote for us. Vote for us. We've got a few of our songs from the from the uh, album on there that you can listen to. Vote for us. Share that page. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Yeah. And vote. 
share it, you know, get all your friends to listen to it. You can listen like 10 times a day and it still counts. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd love you guys for eternity if you can get us on Warped Tour. Absolutely. One of our biggest dreams is to, to get on Warped Tour. And, and, uh, so speaking on your new album, how can anyone get hold of it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we've got it everywhere. We've got you can buy it from us directly, physical copies. We've got we can send you physical copies on our uh, Big Cartel uh, web store, bigcartel.com. Backslash. Come on, you got it. I think, I think it's unlabeled. If not, we've got the link on our Facebook. Just go to our so, Facebook. Get it it's on there. And. Uh, We've got it on iTunes, a bunch of different digital distribution. iTunes, Amazon, Amazon Google, Reverb Nation has it. Reverb Nation's got it on there. And pretty much anywhere you can find music, it's probably there. How do you guys feel about CDs versus downloading? How do you personally enjoy music? CDs. CDs. I, I personally no, enjoy CDs, but I'm not offended by any way if somebody wants to download the music. If they don't have the money or they, they feel that, you know, they just, it's, it's made to, for people to, to listen to. Yeah, to if they're me, listening it, to it. Exactly. Yeah, that's, all it, that's all that matters to me. I want something you want people to hear and connect to it. And if you feel, you know, if you want to pay for it, that's great. If you want to download it, hey, that's cool for you too. Just share it with all your friends. <laughs> Ahoy! What lessons have you guys learned playing a lot of shows with a lot of different bands? No, Never know what you're getting into. <laughs> That's true. I think I think we've learned we've kind of grown our, our stage presence a little bit too from you know as we get used to playing different or playing different venues and playing uh, different songs and you know kind of just getting used to how each person interacts on the stage. You know, just personally with the band and then we always enjoy watching other bands that come out. We see you know we've seen I don't know probably 200 bands in the past couple of years. Yeah. So it's it's always fun to see what other bands are doing out there. We like to see, you know stick around and support them when we can. And we like the support that we get from other from other bands too. So, so there's a lot of good music scenes still around. I like there's one of them. Toledo's got a pretty good music scene. Uh, so just some of the ones we've been able to tap in so far, but, but we're looking to expand. Yeah, Sandusky died when the underground closed. It was like one of the main places to play. Underground, it was amazing. Rip to the underground. Yeah, yeah, there's so many great bands. Yeah, we probably play more shows there than anywhere else. Yeah, Rip in the early days, yeah. But that's kind of early nice to see. Last year. Well, whatever. Yeah, it's early days to us. But it's kind of it's nice to see we could have three, you know, Sandusky area bands out here tonight, too. You know? Yeah, so thank you guys give, for giving us, giving us, giving us somewhere to play. It's I'm always fun. To play with you. <laughs> it's always good playing with Rome and Iowa Mascos. This is we played with Blake the Innocent and Ken the Outpost uh, not last Saturday, but the Saturday before that, which is like kind of like a child band of Broadway insanity. And they they just always bring it there. It's the dusky music. Scene. Uh, what is your biggest pet peeve about the music? Sound guys. <laughs> you have this good guy, This guy tonight was pretty good. Yeah, the, the guy tonight yeah. was very good. We've had some really bad sound guys and some really good sound guys. Oh. Yeah. Like uh, the one that gave us the Jedi mind test down at the bridge. <laughs> All the way down. As awkward as that was, he actually was pretty good at getting good sound. But yeah, we've dealt with sound guys a lot of times. But he was good. He was good. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have questions for us. What's the next show? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as possible, as soon as we can find a bunch of people play, like we did at the next show, if you guys are coming up and you guys are agreeing to play. Thank you. You guys are awesome. It's Taco Bell time! Somebody's going to Taco Bell. Somebody's going to Taco Bell. Anyway, I got to thank you though for bringing us to the same goal. We love when we get people that help us out. We always like to come. Uh, we also we also share a lot of uh, the great stuff. Yeah, yeah. You guys have been my better Unlabeled, check them out, pick up your new album, get it or kill your mom. Okay, check it out. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Absolutely. Hey. Thank you.
stage, about to rock this show. I'm doing what I dreamed of, just thought I'd let you know. They told me to stay the course, or just fall in line. I'll never be the status quo, without them I'll be fine. Trials and tribulations run deep in my blood, just like the time they told me I'd never be enough. 